We're here live at the Market Research Event 2009. We're here with Community Space CEO Diane Hessen. Why don't you tell us quickly a little bit about what Community Space does? Sure. Um, Community Space basically helps major brands get game changing insights from consumers. And we do that by building online communities uh, that are private uh, and continuous. And that's all we do. And we've been doing that uh, for almost 10 years. Community Space has put, a lot, put out a lot of research this year. Can you tell us a little bit about your uh, research initiatives? Sure. Um, well, you know, we spend um, part of what we believe we need to do since we're kind of in a cutting edge, more adventurous area of research is that we spend about a million dollars a year doing research on our own stuff or generally trying to understand what's going on in the field. So, one piece of our research budget is just spent on understanding how to optimize what we're doing with communities. So clients will say to us, why should I only have 400 people? Or how do I know whether I ought to give incentives? Or how do we make sure that we've got um, max engagement research into those projects to make sure that we know the answers to those questions? And then we also do our own research in some of our own communities. Um, right now we're focusing a lot on what we call the bubble, which is a big disconnect between executives and regular mainstream consumers and how they're thinking about the world. We're doing a lot of research about what's happening with consumers and customers, both B2C and B2B, on a global basis and how people are using the web differently depending on where they live. And um, we've got a new research coming out that's not quite complete yet. Um, one all about social media and uh, another all about what we call the sandwich generation. What advice would you give companies that are trying to figure out how to incorporate social marketing into their marketing mix? Yeah. Um, the advice I give them is start by being really, really clear on what you want to do, what you're trying to accomplish. And or clients will call me and say, oh, gee, you guys have been in social media for a long time. Should I be on Twitter? Should I have a Facebook fan page or whatever else? And I think rather than focusing on the activity or the methodology, you just have to start with what you're trying to accomplish. And it's amazing how much things get clearer from there. And lastly, while you're here, one final question. What's ahead for market researchers of tomorrow? Well, first of all, and I've said this to a lot of people, I think that there has never been a more exciting time for the research profession. What companies, uh, who is going on out there uh, with consumers and the reality of what's happening has never been greater. Uh, and the opportunity to kind of have research bridging that gap is huge. So I always say, um, how come CEOs are always saying that they got to be close to customers and then they spend every Saturday morning on the golf course with their investment bankers? I think that in the next five years, uh, the research profession has the opportunity to be the ones invited to the golf course. Lots of different ways that's going to happen, but I think everything about social media and conversation, everything about the fifth P of marketing being participation is uh, going to make this just a very exciting field. Thanks for your time today, Diane.